Welcome to the Texas Connector virtual tour. The Texas Connector is an online interactive mapping tool that provides a snapshot of social service needs and resources in the state of Texas and includes a panoramic view of Texas nonprofits. The Texas Connector was developed by the One Star Foundation to help give insight into the challenges facing Texas communities and how to strengthen the current social service landscape. The tool utilizes current organizational data from 211 Texas, GuideStar USA, and demographic and socioeconomic data from the U.S. Census Bureau, as well as a variety of other reliable and updated data sets. Let's get started. Log in or create an account at texasconnects.org. After logging into the member's homepage, click on the View the Map button. We're now on the mapping tool. If you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the tool, you'll see a checkbox under Options called Show Tooltips. When this box is checked, you can mouse over the features of the tool and it will give you a brief explanation. The first feature of the tool we are going to review is Location. In the top right-hand corner of the tool, you'll see a search box. You can type a specific address, press Go, and the map will pinpoint the address on the map. You may also begin by typing any kind of location, zip code, county, city, or even congressional or state districts. Wait for the recommended options to appear and then select the location you are interested in learning about. Let's go to Houston. Your map will automatically zoom to that highlighted geographic area. After you have zoomed to the location, a question mark will appear above the highlighted area. When you mouse over the mark, it contains a brief description of the population from the 2010 census. Click on More Details to find the full census form for that area. The question mark also contains social, income, economic, housing, and veteran-specific profiles for the location. Clicking on any of these profiles will pull up an extended report of the most recent American Community Survey results for the geographic area. You'll also notice that there's a link to view a report about organizations in the area. But first we must load some selected organizations onto the map. To begin looking for a particular type of service provider in your selected area, use the search box in the sidebar on the right side of the screen. You can search for organizations by name, service type, or keyword. For example, food will pull up a number of services to do with food and hunger, including food banks, pantries, voucher programs, and more. The search will also list any organizations in the area that have the word food in their name or program description. Once you've searched for your organizations or services, you can add them to the map by clicking on them. This will then add them to the active organizations list on the left side of your screen. This feature is collapsible. You can also check and uncheck the active organizations and services to isolate and repopulate the map as needed. Also notice there is an option on the top right under the location search that allows you to add all organizations in our database to your map. This may be useful if you're looking at a small area like a zip code or neighborhood and you want to see the entire service landscape. In addition, if you don't know what keywords to use, Try the link for organization type over the search box. This will open a window that lists all the service categories used in our system and the number of organizations classified as a type or service provider. Keywords can be tricky. For example, if you are looking for service providers that assist the elderly, you may want to try a variety of keywords related to this category, such as elderly, senior, assisted, old, or aging, rather than relying on only elderly. If you cannot find the service providers that you are looking for on the map, you may need to zoom in or out. If you're using a laptop, use your cursor to click on the magnifying glasses with a plus and minus in the left-hand corner of the map. If your computer has a mouse, just scroll to zoom in and out. Service providers will appear as red dots for more than one organization and as blue dots for singular organizations on the map. To view the information about a specific organization on the map, simply click on the blue or red dot. A box will appear with the name or names of organizations listed at that location. 
By clicking on the name of the organization in which you are interested, you will be given the basic information about that organization. You can also click on a link to get directions from any location to that organization. By selecting More Details option, you can also see a full organizational profile. Now that we have organizations loaded onto the map, we can also return to the question mark and generate a directory of all the service providers selected in the area. This is available to download in multiple formats, including an Excel directory. Let's return to the map. Texas Connector has the ability to overlay numerous visual layers that you may be interested in. You'll find these layers along the right sidebar near the bottom. The green pluses reveal the layers available in each category. Checking the box next to the category will load that layer onto the map. For example, zip code boundaries. In the Population tab, you can demonstrate population density. When you select a layer, a color-coded key will appear in your sidebar to guide your understanding of the visual data layer. Zooming in and out on the map will show you how different cities are denser than the surrounding rural areas. At some points, the map actually changes depending on the magnification level. Under the Income tab, you can map unemployment. Also, the blue eye next to each layer provides information on the data source. In the Education layer, you can activate public schools. This section also has the ability to map school-related data by site or district, such as free and reduced lunch eligibility. Let's zoom in for a closer look at a Houston community. We can also load transportation routes for Austin, Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio. Are you interested in an informal geographic area, such as a radius or a shape of your own creation? The Texas Connector can do this. Simply select the small icon of Texas with a magnifying glass at the top of the tool. A box will appear with four options. The first is Query a Point. With this tool, you can use your cursor to click on a school or a bus stop to find out detailed information about that site. Next, the Query or Radius tool allows you to select an area in several increments from 500 feet to 10 miles to map a circle from any point. Thus, if you were interested in finding organizations only within 5 miles of your home or office address, you can create a customized highlighted zone and create a directory of organizations or services in that area. The Query a Shape tool similarly allows you to draw any enclosed shape. Thus, if you want to select organizations in a certain area of your screen but not others, you can simply draw around them. This works well for informal areas like neighborhoods. Lastly, the Query the Map tool allows you to generate information on the total zoom area of your screen. Now that you have created a custom map, you may want to share it with someone else or return to it at another point. You can email it to yourself or a colleague or print a copy by selecting the mail button or print button at the top of your screen. If you're having trouble finding an email from the Texas Connector, it's a good idea to check your spam folder. Please be aware that if you leave your screen inactive for 20 minutes, your account will automatically log out and your searches will be lost. So make sure you email anything that you want to return to at a later time. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Texas Connector. Be sure to explore the other features on the member's homepage, such as the Census Report Generator. Remember to check out our website for updates and helpful hints for using Texas Connector at texasconnects.org. If you cannot find the answers there, feel free to send specific questions to our email, texasconnects at onestarfoundation.org, or call the Texas Connector hotline. We greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you. 
The One Star Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to connect partners and resources to build a stronger nonprofit sector in Texas. Learn more about the One Star Foundation at onestarfoundation.org.